Hello, everybody, and welcome to Chakras and Cuss Words. And today we are talking about the sacral chakra. <laughs> the sacral chakra is our chakra that is our second chakra. It represents our sexuality, passion, pleasure, and creativity. It is this chakra that is located in the center where we are having our reproductive system. So for men, it um, will have uh, energy towards the testicles, the penis. Um, For women, obviously, the ovaries, the womb, the menses, um, all that. All that passion area, that pleasure area. The sacral chakra also has elements related to money and creativity and also can go back to confidence. So when we think about our sacral chakra, we have to think about what that chakra means to us. So for everybody, our sacral chakra will have um, different representation or imbalances on how we were raised and also with our culture can play a huge um, part with our sacral chakra. So our sacral chakra, the color represents orange. It is a six lotus. It also is known to um, be centered and aligned with the planets of the moon, um, Jupiter, and I believe a Mercury. So the sacral chakra, hmm, the area of pleasure. Oh man. So where do I start? So for somebody who is very aligned with their sacral chakra, they will have healthy boundaries in their relationship. They will also have a sexual um, connection with their partner where it is very healthy. They won't have problems with intimacy. They won't have problems with confidence in talking to their partner about intimacy and sexuality. They will also be very um, confident in maybe exploring new things if that's something they would like to do, or they will be very confident in saying, no, I don't want to explore new things. They also have a lot of um, confidence in their body. They see themselves as a beautiful divine creature, as we all are. And they also take contribute that they can receive pleasure and also give pleasure. So their sacral chakra is aligned in that aspect where it's fully balanced and they don't have many um, problems with that part of their body. (laughs) So when you think about somebody who is probably having some uh, issues with their sacral chakra, it would be somebody who isn't having um, necessarily good overall body body issues. Maybe they don't feel very confident in their body. They don't like their body. They don't feel confident in um, uh, having sexual moments. They aren't comfortable comfortable in intimacy. Maybe they're always fatigued or tired. Maybe um, having a sexual relationship with their partner is not necessarily their main objective. (laughs) Maybe they decided that their energy in that source is depleted. It's um, just not there. And they don't really necessarily want to contribute any passion or pleasure in that part of their life. Also, people who have um, a lot of lack of intimacy, of creativity as well. Maybe they're having a hard time finding hobbies, or maybe they are having a hard time balancing their money. They tend to not hold, uh, accumulate money as well, or hold on to money. And maybe they are having some issues with that as well. But for the most part, the sacral chakra represents our confidence and our sexuality and also how we see ourselves as sexual beings, how we see ourselves as pleasured um, individuals, how we receive and also give pleasure to others. 
So for the most part, I would say people who are um, experiencing issues with their sacral chakra will have issues in intimacy. For instance, let's say it is a housewife or a woman who has been working um, and is very driven. Maybe she is uh, working nonstop. She is feeling tired and fatigued. Sex is the last thing on her mind. She doesn't necessarily like her body. She doesn't like being naked in front of her spouse. It's something that she is just not into. She has other things on her mind. Maybe her chakras are um, very high energy in other areas and very uh and very high energy. For instance, maybe she has um, high energy in her heart chakra, or maybe even her um, her crown chakra, where she is making huge decisions and she is very um, driven, and she is leaving the um, the sexual pleasure and passion behind. So when this happens, most of the time this will cause conflict with the overall person who has a lack in their sacral chakra with um, security in how they feel as a partner. You will also see it with people who are possibly single, who aren't very confident in um, sexual relationships or aren't confident in starting new relationships. The sacral chakra does represent the connection chakra, the chakra of intimacy and passion, as I stated before. So when you think of that and people who are having that element, that is really a hard thing for them to manage. So you would think, well, what do you do if I have a depleted or my sacral um, chakra is deficient and it is blocked? How can I break that block and become more, um, more pleasurable, also more willing to receive pleasure, more willing to take in pleasure, and more willing to give pleasure. How do I open that creative box? How do I open that communication with my spouse? So you have to really think of it at the root. If it is um, confidence, and if it is basically that has to do with a lot with body imaging, then you would want to do some exercises that tap into that chakra energy. Uh, tapping where you are tapping down on the pelvic area, creating warmth and energy to that area is a um, positive way to bring new energy to the sacral chakra. Of course, you can do yoga, practice poses that um, represent beauty, represent confidence. There are self-mirror imaging um, exercises you could do where you look in the mirror at your naked body, uh, find poses that really let you um, show off the areas of your body that you are uh, admiring, that you are thankful for, and also to give yourself gratitude that you have the ability to um, change the feelings that you feel with your body. And the way you can do that is with affirmations and taking into account that you are a beautiful creature and you are a divine being as many of us are. So when you are in the mirror and you see your silhouette or you see your stature, take time to acknowledge the tributes and the aspects of your body that you do engage in, that you do feel are very um gorgeous. Take time to acknowledge that. Don't acknowledge the areas that you might say that you feel you need to work on or anything like that. Most women have issues with their sacral chakra because a lot of times society has um, put on us what beauty is. We are filled to um, feel that we have to live the standard of um, idealists of what beauty has been taught to us and not necessarily um, what we value as beauty. A lot of times our humor, our loving spirit, our um, personality, um, our tributes are declined by the overall aspect of the first 
body image that we give ourselves. So take time to appreciate what it is you like about yourself. If you have dark hair, if you have blonde hair that you enjoy looking at, if you like the length of your eyebrows, if you like the length of your eyelashes, if you like the fact that you have long legs versus short legs, find the parts of your body that makes you feel confident and really contribute to that and give yourself reflection that you are a beautiful being in your own way. We all are. And um, also a few things that you can do for balancing your sacral chakra and bringing more energy to that area is when you are feeling a decline in passion, create an atmosphere where you bring the passion in, where you bring the confidence in, create the mood to um, find the beautiful abundance of your sexuality, of your passion, of your body confidence. So if that means wearing something as beautiful as a silky robe or having time to do your hair and makeup or putting some extra vibrant eyeshadow on or maybe using a moisturizer that smells um, delightful that really gives you that sense of the beautiful creature that you are. Also, you can take time to use um, citrus. Citrus is a very um, good food that energizes with your sacral chakra. So when you are thinking about the fruits of um, passion, citrus, lemon, tangerine, melons, and all those are um, very beneficial. You can take a beautiful citrus bath. You can um, put fresh cut oranges lined with candles and use some vanilla aroma to really open up that seductive feeling. Also, there are many things you can do like journaling, take time to uh, acknowledge the parts that that you enjoy of yourself, not necessarily what you would like to work on. Also, when you are thinking about balancing your sacral chakra, there are ways of communicating to your um, to your loved one on issues that you may have. Make sure you are truthful and honest and that you can bring it up to them in a way that also creates an engagement and makes you more approachable. Many people who have an imbalanced sacral chakra, their partner almost feels that they are being distanced toward them or that they are not approachable. And it's not necessarily because they don't care about their partner or they don't care about the other person in the relationship. It's because their sacral chakra is blocked and they do not know how to take in that energy when it is fully given to them. Another thing that you can do for your sacral chakra is use um, crystals such as citrine, um, jasper, and also um, you can use cinnamon, uh, herbs, you can use, um, I believe, saddlewood as well for aromatherapy to create that seductive um that seductive energy. Also, if you are thinking of doing something to open up your gates of manifestation for your sacral chakra, I recommend uh, really tuning into the moon energy, full moon, new moon, new growth, new sexuality, new uh, high energy frequency to tap into your sacral chakra because your sacral chakra is an element uh, related to the moon. Whew, honey, <laughs> honey, honey, honey. So let's talk about somebody who has a over excited sacral chakra. <laughs> oh man, oh man. So somebody who has an over excited sacral chakra or who has too much sacral chakra energy, you would think, how would that be a um how would that be something that is too much? Well, think about it. If you are just a beam of sexuality and you are just basically overzealous where your sacral chakra is everywhere, either male or female, a lot of times there are not healthy boundaries in your relationship. You have to think that the person who has a high energy sex uh, sacral chakra possibly can have a lot of high energy sexual contributions that might be 
wearing and tearing on the relationships. Possibly they are a cheater. Ooh, possibly they are overly sexually driven and maybe are wearing down, <laughs> wear, wearing down their, um, their partner where their partner is exhausted with the sexual activities or sexual, um, times that this person is basically trying to either engage in sex, create new sexual, um, sexual uh, experiments or so on and so on. They may also be too creative where they're starting multiple projects and not ever really finishing one. They also might have too much sacral chakra energy where maybe they have problems with addiction or they are also having problems with um, saving their money. They are uh, very intense uh, very charismatic. Sometimes they might be seen as um, people who tell a little white lie here and there. They are very confident in their sexuality and they want to share that energy with as many people as possible. <laughs> oh man. So when I think of somebody who has a high sacral chakra energy, I'm thinking of, I'm going to tell the truth. I'm thinking of a man. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm thinking of a man who's probably very, very attractive, or if he isn't very attractive, he's very charismatic. People see him as somebody they want to be around. They have a lot of charm and wit behind them. A lot of women are eager to meet him. A lot of women are impressed with him and he just can't tie down. Also somebody who may be having sexual um intimate relationships in all the wrong places. Possibly they are starting relationships with people at work. They possibly are starting relationships with um, people who are bringing conflict to their life. Possibly, like I said, they could have multiple relationships with multiple people just because they have so much energy in their sacral chakra and now it's starting to become a little bit too much. So for somebody who is having this much energy and this much um, activity in their sacral chakra, it kind of makes you wonder what chakra is imbalanced what following chakra has the deficit? When you're having this much chakra energy in one chakra, there's most likely a chakra that is depleted or deficient. Most likely it is the root chakra where the root chakra is very depleted and is not very stable. This person is scared to commit. This person is scared scared to commit to one thing. Possibly, like I said, they could have all kinds of projects, maybe their job, jumping from job to job because their root chakra isn't really um, having enough energy because all this energy is going towards their sacral chakra. So for incidents that could help this person would be to balance their root chakra as well as balancing their sacral chakra. Also with the sacral chakra, this person would probably need to do some journaling, also do some meditation to keep them more grounded, keep them at a more calmer pace, finding out what ideally works for them and their relationship. Also creating healthy boundaries, within their relationship and what also works with their partner with some open communication. If their partner is all great with this, all this sacral energy, and maybe they have a high sacral energy as well, and this is just a match made in heaven, or this could be a match where it is um, not so great because the other's partner's um, sacral chakra is not at the same element as the person who has all the sacral chakra energy. So definitely there should be some communication. I also do think that... Um, Yoga and meditation can really help build a foundation for a calmer sacral chakra for somebody who is having that much uh, problems with high energy in that area. Oh man, talking about the sacral chakras got me all heated, honey, 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 honey. <laughs> so when you think about the sacral chakra, think of it like this. How do I know I have imbalances with my sacral chakra? Possibly is my root chakra found 
foundation strong? Do I feel confident in my root chakra being balanced? If so, then most likely your sacral chakra is balanced as well. But if you see that you're having problems with commitment, maybe you're all over the place, you aren't able to um, tie down. If you are a man, maybe you are constantly having um, high energies of wanting to have sexual activity. If you are a female, maybe you are having high energy of having sexual activity as well. Maybe you are very promiscuous. Maybe also you are jumping around from project to project. You can't really finish one. Or maybe you are having some great spending and a lot of impulse. If you have a depletion in your sacral chakra, you possibly could be having menstrual cramps. Um, the, the fear of not, um, the fear of not wanting to be intimate with a partner, um, not feeling confident with your partner seeing you naked, uh, not really being able to engage in conversations about intimacy. Maybe that is something that you are avoiding. Also, if you are a man, maybe you're having problems with um, uh, gaining an erection. Maybe you're having problems uh, with um, performance, or maybe you are having problems with feeling confident in um, engaging with a woman in a sexual um, relationship because of these issues. So for balancing your sacral chakra, there's many ways. I also really recommend tapping, like I said before, bringing an energy to that area. Also exercising, I believe is a good um, way to tap into your sacral chakra. Um, if you need to see a, a Reiki master, I do recommend it for uh, that, for that area. Also a, um, person who is involved with maybe intimacy and relationships. If it is a problem with performance, the best um, ability is to have that open communication with your partner. If you do not have a partner and you are just having sexual activity with possibly somebody who is a friend, booty call, whatever you want to call it, make sure that you are honest as well. For instance, if it is a, um, a incidence with performance, male versus female, doesn't really matter. We all have issues that sometimes are just uncomfortable to talk about. So make sure you are honest with your um, whoever your partner is in your sexual activities, or if it's a one night stand. Um, <laughs> well, if it's a one night stand, who knows? <laughs> He probably won't even remember your name. <laughs> okay, I'm just being silly. But overall, communication is good. And also take time to learn about your sacral chakra, ways to balance it, and also connect to your root chakra to see how your root chakra is doing, especially if it's an overzealous sacral chakra. So for our next podcast, which I'm super excited about, I'm actually having a uh, intimacy uh, coach on, which she is going to be talking about some of the issues that people do have with uh, being intimate in relationships. So that's going to be fun. And that is going to be something that you can really um, kind of put the two to two together because the sacral chakra is, like I said, tied to your confidence and your sexuality. So also it depends on if you have any traumas related to your sacral chakra, meaning if you've had incidents of uh, child abuse or if you've had incidents of sexual abuse or incidents of um, issues that have really put trauma onto your sacral chakra, I highly recommend you talk to a licensed professional professional, licensed professional, meaning a psychiatrist, somebody who works with um, past trauma events or psychology, especially if it's really hindering you. That is something that you do not want to um, take for granted. There are resources out there. Um, also, like I said before, some of the crystals you can use for your sacral chakra are the um, snowflake, orange calcite, red jasper, and the citrine, and of course the sunstone. And if you are looking for aromatherapy, the um, 
Ro the rose is a good fragrance. Also sweet orange, mandarin, tangerine, and um, saddlewood, I believe. I'm not 100% sure, because, but I remember it is a very seductive. Um, and also I would say vanilla as well. Foods for your sacral chakra, I would concentrate on tangerines, mangoes, oranges, peppers, pumpkins, peaches, apricots, sweet potatoes, and also herbs for balancing is another root base. So you are going to think root, ginger, garlic, and also cinnamon. And as always, we have a, I have a description of um, little um, elements you could learn about each chakra in the show notes in the episode of the podcast details if you want to gather more um, more of information. I am also offering a 20-minute um, free consultation to all my podcast listeners. You just have to message me on chakras.cusswords and say, podcast listener, 20 minute consultation um, to find out if your root chakra, sacral chakra, solar plex chakra, heart chakra, or throat chakra, or crown chakra are somehow imbalanced. And another thing for you to know is that the sacral chakra's flower represents the 10 petal lotus, and it is the beautiful warm color of orange when it is fully balanced. And I do have a sacral chakra guided meditation on the podcast channel. As always, you could tune in and listen to it. Please comment, like, subscribe, share this video with your friends, and also uh, follow me on um, Facebook, chakras.cusswords, or Instagram, chakras.cusswords. Also, I am on Clubhouse. And if you would like an invitation to Clubhouse, please go ahead and message me or email me and I will send one to you. So I just want to thank you guys for listening and everybody have a great day and then tune in to next week's um, podcast with our sexual coach and <laughs> intimacy coach, Miss Heidi. And everybody have a great day. Bye.